So, uh, how's the case going? Whoa, okay, I'll get you the usual. He had been working on that case for quite some time now, and it was slowly tearing him apart. He gave up everything trying to catch the guy. Two years ago, his family left him, and the few people he could have called friends wanted nothing to do with him. Sanitary man, you never have any time for me anymore. All you care about is your work. I'm leaving, and I'm taking the kids. All he had left was me, his sidekick, and the comfort he found at the bottom of the bottle. Gee, sanitary man, lay off the sauce. There had been five stabbing victims just this month, and sanitary man was almost on the killer's trail. But I got a question for you, you giglet. Where were you at 12 a.m. yesterday? I was sleeping last night at 12 o'clock. Wow, that's an interesting story. But I know one thing that you don't know. And that's that I have eyewitnesses that spotted you outside the Maltese Falcon last night at the time of the murder. He was a real dirty cop. He'd do anything for his work. Even if that meant ruffling up a few feathers. Fuck! Huh, yeah, sock it to him, sanitary man. After sanitary man calmed down, he left the interrogation room and went back to looking over his notes on the case. When suddenly, she walked in. She had lips, like two fat ladies, fighting over the last piece of pastrami. And legs that just won't quit. My God. She sat down in his office, saying she thought there was gonna be another murder. He asked her how she knew. Cause there's already been another murder. She cried. Before he could ask any more questions, she'd vanished. And Sanitary Man was alone again, thinking over the case. Sanitary man, there's been another- oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry, sanitary man. Th there's been another murder. Sanitary man and I made our way down to the scene of the crime. Looks like we could chalk this one up to the killer. We began looking around for clues, but found nothing. But wait! No, nothing. What are you looking at, fuzzball? But wait! What's this? Look, sanitary man, bloody footprints, but where do they lead? We found ourselves at an abandoned warehouse just on the outskirts of town. Looks like the tracks lead here. You go on in. 
I sent sanitary man in to scope out the area, but little did he know he'd find himself face to face with the killer. He was getting way too close to figuring us out. We had to get rid of him. Well, baby, looks like he's dead. Let's get out of here before someone else shows up. I thought it would have gone off without a hitch, but there was one thing I wasn't counting on. She'd caught feelings for somebody else. You coming, baby? Being filled with regret, she decided to turn on me. She decided she couldn't live without him. She took her own life. The other thing we didn't take into account, socks don't have bones. Sanitary man noticed just a little too late, and his heart just couldn't take it. In the end, he never caught the killer, and with that, the case was closed.